Team 17, the new developers of Hell Let Loose, released a trailer, and it was a bit bad. This video isn't me picking apart that trailer, plenty of others have done that already, but we are going to look at the wider implications, Team 17's response to the criticism, and the bigger picture in general. So in a nutshell, the trailer contained some glitches that simply shouldn't have passed quality assurance before being released. I must confess though that when I first watched the trailer I didn't actually notice anything was wrong, other than it's just uninspiring in general with guys awkwardly staring at each other like they've just shit their pants and hoped nobody's noticed. Even so, I do get why the big fuss about the trailer, but stepping back to take in the full picture, isn't there something more important going on? The long-awaited British Forces update came out not long ago, and just before it did, I released an entire video on how I thought it was going to be a big fat letdown. However, in the comments to that video, although there was some scepticism, I was pleasantly surprised to see that many, if not the majority of you, are, on the whole, rather happy with the British Forces update. The map I thought would be a terrible idea, the bridge map real, is actually the star of the show, with an overwhelming number of you telling me how much you're enjoying it. Sure, the increased running speed is controversial, the British weapons behave strangely, and most offensively of all, you can't use the bipod on the Bren. But my point is, surely a good-ish update is far more important than a slightly dodgy trailer. Hmm. 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 Yes and no. And this is where it starts to get interesting, so stay with me. When you say something bad about the latest update, you are reminded it was actually the previous developer, Black Matter, who made it, not Team 17. They're just releasing the final piece of content that Black Matter made. But unfortunately that works both ways. By that logic, although the update has been quite well received, we can't really give the kudos to Team 17 for that. Which sucks, because that means all we really have from Team 17 so far is a bunch of promises and a crap trailer, which doesn't bode well at all. So while I admit I was broadly wrong about the British Forces update, that leads me to something else I previously said, and I'll stick to my guns on this one. Bug fixes before new content. Say it with me guys, bug fixes before new content. So why is that relevant, I hear you ask. You may have heard that as a result of this glitchy trailer, the community has been review bombing the game on Steam, so its recent reviews currently sit as mixed. I'm not a big fan of review bombing, it's a sledgehammer approach which does get your point across to the devs that you're unhappy, but also harms the game long term as it's going to take a while for the game to shrug off that mixed rating. However, the review bombing campaign as a result of Poopy Pants trailer appears to have worked. Team 17 have recently announced that they will be delaying the next update to concentrate on bug fixes. Can I hear a hallelujah? Look, this is tough. We all want new content for the game. Bug fixes, I'm sure, will feel like a grind for Team 17, and for us too. But they've been knocked down a peg or two by this review bombing, and the best way to address that is to get their heads down, delay the roadmap, and get fixing those bugs. If they can turn around and tell us they have genuinely fixed the loadout bug and the grenade bug, that will be a massive boost for the community. We've been asking for those fixes for years, and we're still waiting. They've introduced new bugs with the British Forces update, and they've got a ton of historic ones to fix too. So get started Team 17 and keep us in the loop. We want to be kept up to date. If a particular bug is being a pain in the ass to fix, show us, tell us why. Make a dev blog about it. You may think that would bore the players, but I think you'd be surprised how many positive comments you'd receive from an honest dev blog showing us the challenges you're facing when resolving these bugs. That would be better than telling us about all this new content you're going to introduce, because right now we have no faith in your quality assurance processes anyway, we'll just see new content on the horizon as a bug fest waiting to happen. The core of the game is fun, it doesn't need new content, especially after this latest update, it just needs patching up first. And how does a trailer even get released without being checked in detail? How does that even happen? It's quite simple really folks, corporate deadlines, and more than likely some twallop 
in the top brass changing their mind last minute. We've all been there. The guys and girls actually making the trailer, whether they were internal or external, probably had a constantly changing remit, some idiot further up the food chain saying, that, that's not good enough, we, we need more of this. All while the guys and girls look at each other thinking, how the f*** are we going to do that before the trailer releases next week? All of this is about money. New content, new trailers, whip up excitement so new players buy the game at that new increased price. Well, Team 17, your trailer was s*** and the game has more bugs than ever. Well done. Slow clap. But I do applaud you for seeing the light. Delaying the roadmap and shifting the focus to bug fixes. It's just a shame it took a review bombing campaign that will have a long lasting effect on the game to make you see the error of your ways. This has turned into a rant. I've had far too much coffee today, so I'd like to end on a positive note. Thank you, Team 17. And that is not sarcastic. We're lucky to have a developer plowing resources into this game. I'm sure you're a lovely bunch of people and it's very easy to be negative about all of this. But the last thing we need is for Team 17 to throw in the towel. Please keep going. Your ongoing communication is appreciated. Delays are good if it means you can focus on quality of life updates. And I promise you, the players, and Team 17, that this game and this community will be worth the effort. Thank you.